I can't believe it took this guy two weeks to make this weak video. What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another Botticera video. So in today's video, we are going to be playing our Botticera system on our iPhones, our Androids, our other laptops, PCs, and a ton of other systems or devices. So to do it, it's super easy. It's just a few steps we have to follow. Very quickly, I did want to say this isn't going to be perfect. I've had some issues with it. I've got a computer that just straight up won't work with it. But with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so like we do in so many other videos, we're going to head to our file manager. We're going to go to applications and then we're going to click on X term. The first thing we have to do is install a web browser. The reason we have to do that is because you're going to have to use it to enter a pin so that you can connect your two devices. So you're going to go in to the terminal and you're going to type in the following command. I'll leave it up on the screen. And also, if you don't like using Chrome, I will leave commands for other web browsers that you can use you know, like Opera, Firefox, and um, whatever the hell else is out there these days. I don't really give a damn, so I'm just using Chrome, but again, I'll leave those here. So you're gonna wanna go in there and install your web browser. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait. All right, so now that you've got your web browser installed, just go ahead and open it up if you're running a fresh install. So for me, I just installed Chrome for the first time on this system. So I'm just gonna go in and open it up and make sure that it installed correctly. It should, you shouldn't have any issues, but again, like I said, just open it up once to make sure you're good. And after you do that, then we can proceed to the next step. All right, for the next step, we're gonna be installing Sunshine onto our Botticera system. We're gonna go back to our file manager. We're gonna go back into X term, and you're gonna type in the following command. I'll leave it up on the screen. For this command, it's gonna be the same for all of us. Sunshine is the application that we're gonna be using to stream our Botticera system to our other devices. This is the main application along with Moonlight that we're gonna be utilizing today. It's super simple once you start to use it, but again, it's not perfect. So I'm not a wizard, but if you need any help, you can ask me, that's for sure. Once you get that command in, it's gonna install Sunshine. I'll go ahead and fast forward so that you don't have to wait through all this. So once you get to this screen, take a screenshot, take your phone out and take a picture of it. You're gonna need this screen and the information on it later. All right, now we're getting into one of the reasons that we need a web browser. So in order to set up your Sunshine machine for the first time, you're gonna need to go into that web browser that you downloaded. So if you use Chrome like me, then you're gonna go to ports and you're gonna go to Google Chrome. Now that Chrome is loaded, you're gonna need the information on the screen that I told you to take a screenshot or a picture of, and you're gonna need to type in the information in the box below. I don't know if it's the same for all computers, so I'm gonna blur mine out, but I will leave an arrow pointing to the screen showing what you need to type in. So it won't have the numbers or the letters, but it will have the location of where those numbers will be for you. So I'm typing that in here now, and then once you type it in, you just go ahead and click enter. We're living dangerous, only God knows who's actually connecting our system. Them, but we're going to go ahead and go to advanced and we're going to skip this bullshit. I'm living on the edge here. Now that you get to your sunshine portal, it's going to make you create a password for your first time. So go in, type that password in, whatever you want it to be. It can be simple. It doesn't really matter. I don't think any Russian or Chinese attackers are coming for you, but you know, who knows? Once you have your password selected, it's going to bring you back to a sign in screen. Your username, unless you changed it, will be sunshine, and then your password will be, you know, whatever you just typed in. So type all that in, and you're going to be able to sign in to your sunshine server. Now that you've successfully set up Sunshine on your Botticera system, we need to go in and set up Moonlight on our iPhone, Android, laptop, whatever. For now, we're using iPhones. We're going to go to the App Store. We're gonna type in Moonlight and we're gonna hit search. It's gonna be boom. It's that first link right there underneath the promoted one. You're gonna install that and I'll speed this up so we can get past this a little quicker. So once that's downloaded, allow whatever it asks to allow to connect to your local network. And you're just gonna wait for a minute and your Botticera system should pop up. Once it pops up, it's gonna bring you up to a pin. So this pin here is very important. This is the whole reason why you needed the web browser to start with. So you're gonna take this pin, you're gonna go back to your Botticera system and I will show you where to insert it from there. Don't click cancel, stay on this screen and I will see you back on your Botticera system.
All right, back on Botticera, all you've got to do is go to the top left corner and click the button that says pin. It's super simple. If you're still on the screen, if not, you'll have to reopen your Google Chrome browser and just go back to your Sunshine login. Let's scroll up to the top and we will tap pin. And once you hit pin, you will type in the pin that was on your, your iPhone or your other laptop or machine. So once you click enter on that, it should go take you right into Botticera on your second secondary device. The first thing you'll notice when you connect to your machine, if you've already have a controller connected to your main Botticera system, then this secondary device will show up as a second controller. So you can use this option to play multiplayer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll really quickly and find a multiplayer game and show you that it does work. So if you look in the top left corner, you can see I have two controller sticks and that's just, you know, a little more proof that I am connected. But to give you even more proof here in a second, once I start the game, I will show you my secondary screen I recorded on my iPhone, uh, just screen recorded it. So you'll be able to see in real time both games working together. Now, it's not easy to play two games at the same time, but here we go. And there you see now that is my iPhone playing on Botticera as a second player. I just think that's really awesome for people who may want to uh, play on their Botticera system from another laptop in the house or another machine in the house, um, or in this case, an iPhone. So I'll shut up for a second and just let this play. No need to make fun of me or anything for what you're about to see. It's just me attempting to play two players of Mario 64 at the same time. So it doesn't work out well. You see, I can go in straight for a minute and then all hell breaks loose. But yeah, this is just a quick demo showing you that it does work. And the smaller screen, the top left corner, that is my iPhone. And then obviously the main screen is the, you know, the Botticera screen. I opted in on using the on-screen controller on my iPhone, just so, you know, it even gives you a more clear view of how it works. But typically I would use a PS4 controller instead and then remove those on-screen controls. Okay, so let's say you don't want to play with anyone else and you just want to play with yourself. <laughs> if you just want to play with yourself single player, disconnect the controller from your main Botticera system and then connect with your secondary device. So for here, as you can see in the top left corner, again, I'm going to be using iPhone, but now I have my PS4 controller connected to my iPhone and no controller connected to the Botticera system. So now I'm upstairs, you know, far away from my main Botticera system, streaming the game directly to my iPhone using the controller connected to my iPhone. This is just a quick demo. I've never played this before, so I'm not really going to do much. It's just showing that it does work. So I'll let you just watch the rest of this and I'll be right back. Now, lastly, we will install Moonlight onto our laptop. It's just a shitty laptop I have. And I'm just gonna install Moonlight onto it really quickly. You can go to Google, 
search for Moonlight and look for Moonlight Game Streaming. Once it brings you to this website here, all you're gonna do is scroll down and the download links will be at the bottom of the page. So here I'm downloading it for PC. I'm running a Windows PC, so we'll click download. It's gonna take us to the GitHub. With all the links that you need, I'm just gonna click the Windows Installer Universal, let that install, and I'll be back once it's done. Now, you know I don't like to waste any time, so let's just start it up right now. The first screen you're gonna get when you click to launch it is something that looks like this, something similar to what you saw on your phone. Now, again, you've gotta click Botticera, and once you click Botticera, it's gonna give you a pin, and you've gotta go in, go to your Botticera system, and connect it the same way we did with the iPhone. So I'll probably leave that here so you can you know, review that if you just skipped ahead to the laptop version. Now that we're connected, we'll hit play on the Botticera system and it should automatically force a full screen. Yep, and there we go. Now we are streaming our Botticera system on a shitty laptop. Look, see, I'm switching tabs so you can see. And I'll go back to Moonlight. We are on our shitty laptop upstairs and our Botticera system is downstairs. That's gonna wrap up this video, but if you have any questions, you leave them in the comment section below. What's going on? I've got a small army of you all sticking to the end of the video. I love it, I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Watch one of these videos.